<laughs> These are big ones though. But the small ones, right? It started as a collaboration between our after school program and our food service director. Try to grow some different things that are fresh, on site, and then with the idea that it would grow into teachers using it was our hope. We do our best to connect teachers with resources that already exist, either within NGOs, community resources, and also state government resources. Should we go look at the garden? Yes. We All the tomato seeds, the pepper seeds, um, were all done by classrooms. I, mean, we, I had a grow lab in my classroom, and we planted all the seeds. We had little pods that we planted them in in the grow lab, and then I uh, had a couple guys assigned to, you know, check them and make sure they're watering them and doing that kind of stuff. Which one of our elementary teachers, Kelly Crane, brought her students over and they planted green beans and they were so excited because they were, they didn't know how to do it and, you know, they were like squealing when they saw a worm. I planted like, a lot of them. students like maybe want to like volunteer for something maybe. Uh, these are some of our summer campers and they're planting squash plants today. Um, amongst my duties here at the school is running a summer camp. The camp focuses on um, getting lots of exercise, nutrition, cooking, and they also eat the vegetables that are in the garden. It's kind of slightly peppery. Do you know what it's called? Tarugula. Tarugula. So one of the things we did with the students was help them use the green spaces inventory to look at what existed in the garden and what resources they already had. We did realize that it was on a shelf of rock and there wasn't much dirt. So we discussed raised beds. We got a grant that we purchased our lumber. Rodents and varmints and critters, those kind of things, still a challenge. Uh, we're trying everything to try to figure out how to keep them away and protect our vegetables. Oh, there's the rabbit. How do you begin to uh, creative ways to solve that without doing harm in somewhere else type of thing? There you go. An example of student problem solving that happened because the students went through the Green Schools process is uh, the solution that they found for the irrigation issue. Well, I think our uniqueness here has been overcoming the water situation because of the drought that we had early in the spring. And independently of any input from adults, two students actually came up with the idea of using drip irrigation. We need a lot of pipe. And we're able to solve that problem. Half a pipe going to each of the gardens. The water comes out of the tiny holes in this and waters the plants all around the garden. We need to work on the garden year end and we need help from our community to make sure our garden is a success. Oftentimes there's one teacher who is the key driver of building a school garden or building an outdoor classroom. Oftentimes, once that teacher has left the district, the school garden or the outdoor classroom will fall into disrepair or disuse. JKG teacher, um, Mr. McCauley, he would bring his students out quite often and they would weed or sow or uh, harvest whatever we needed. But. I think the growth of this, I think in seeing them used more in the cafeteria, to see more kids out here in the outdoor classroom, I think is our long-term goal to have teachers out here every day uh, actually participating and having a place that they can bring kids and enjoy the outdoors. That's our long-term focus. A, a big part of that will come with the, the teacher buy-in. I know there's, there's a handful of teachers that are definitely bought into it and want to be a part of it every year, uh, but we're going to need to expand that because you know, not everybody's going to be here forever and uh, we need to make sure as people come in, this is, this is something that people use and value. Through the grant process, part of the grant was coming up with a master plan. So we really wanted to ensure that the school gardens or the outdoor classrooms were written into school policy at the district level. And then to say, this is what we will do in the future, give some our garden task force, why it's organized, what we're going to do. Also funding, securing funding. I mean, there's 
one part that we can do that is we're, we're selling produce right now, whether it's to our cafeteria, which we can use that fun, those funds to help do it. We're also planning like a farmer's market type setting. You know, the, hopefully that will help our sustainability and then you know, maintain those connections uh, in the community. Carrots. Carrots are orange sweet, remind me of Bugs Bunny, plant them in the dirt.